Hey there, what's going on? Carrie Hyam here. And in this video, we're going to be talking about my number one tool that I use to get unstuck. It also helps avoid overwhelm, stay out of comparitis, and has actually helped grow a multiple seven figure business over the last few years. <music> So if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Carrie Hyam and I am one of the beaches, we're the beach boss influencers. And what we do is we help network marketers like you make a shiz ton more money in less time, leveraging systems and processes um, on social media and automation. So if you're joining me, say hello, join in on the conversation. We'll come back in and get to some of your comments later. But I wanted to quickly, before I dive into this, let you know that this is your last chance to register for the next level workshop that is taking place the 16th through the 18th. Um, there's going to be a link. It might be in the comments. It could be in the description. Head on over, click on it, join us um, because we're going to be diving into our proven framework for growing a six-figure team inside the network marketing space. It is going to be an intensive three days and we can't wait to have you join us. So let's talk a little bit about this it's kind of a seven figure skill set almost um, that I know that a majority, pretty much every single top earner that I know has used, whether they're able to name and label it is one thing. Um, most of them do it. It's kind of like unconsciously competent. Is that what it's called? When like you know how to do something, but you don't know how to name and label or teach somebody else. So this process is actually something that I've learned and I realized that as I was growing my team, I was doing it before I even learned what it was. And so this is a seven figure evaluation process. And what I found is this is my number one tool. It's my number one thing that has helped me get unstuck. It's my number one thing that helps me avoid overwhelm. It's my number one thing that helps me, um, you know, avoid comparitis. It's my number one skill set that has helped me grow um, the business that we have, right? That's, it's been my, my crutch, I guess you could say, in helping me grow and helping Beach Boss uh, get to the point that we're at and also helping my team and I grow. So evaluation is really what it is. What it comes down to is it's a three-step process that I know that I know so many seven-figure earners use, and it's the tool that really helps them stay focused and helps them ce celebrate their small wins to help them get to the point that they want to to get to that point that they want to be at. So the first step is as you are taking, as you're taking action and as you're starting to grow your business, things are going to happen. Things aren't going to work. Things are going to break. Um, you know, you're going to have drama. There's going to be things that happen that you didn't expect. We we'll call them bumps in the road. Let's call them obstacles. The quickest way to get through that obstacle, the quickest way to get through a bump in the road is to have a process designed to help you get through it. And this process is actually a process of thinking. And so it's kind of a different way to approach, right? A lot of times people think, oh, I just need to take more action or, oh, I just need to hustle my face off or, oh, I just need to keep doing what I'm doing, right? But the problem is, is if you don't have a process of thinking to help you get through it, you could end up doing, like, you could end up spinning your wheels. You're going to end up taking action that didn't need to be taken, right? You're going to end up working harder instead of working smarter. And we want to work smarter. We want to get to our goals in the fastest time possible. And if we have an evaluation process, an evaluation way of thinking, that's what's going to help us get there. And so what the first step is after you've taken action, after you've done something, maybe you're feeling stuck, maybe you're feeling frustrated, maybe you're feeling defeated. You need to ask yourself, what are three things that are working? And we do this in a three, two, one three, two, one process. Okay. We ask ourselves, what are three things that are working? Three major things that are working for me in my business. The reason that we do this is because one, we want to be in a positive headspace. Our mindset, like if you start, the second you start thinking negatively about something, wouldn't you agree? Let me know if you agree in the comments. Once you start thinking negatively, it kind of spirals from there, right? And it's a spiral down into this dredge of negative thinking that is not effective and is not going to help you make dec effective decisions for your business. So instead, we start out with what are three major things that are working for me in my business or what are three major things that are working for me right now? 
you're going to identify what those three things are. And sometimes it can be really hard. If you're in a position where you've been thinking negatively for a while, you might feel like nothing is working in your business. I'll give you a hint that there is always at least one thing that is working in your business, because if you are working, if you are taking action, even if it's not the right actions, but you're taking action, maybe it's not as consistent as it needs to be, but you're still taking action. You are taking action. And that is something that is working. And we need to, we have to challenge our brains. We have to force our brains to think of three things that are working inside our business. And it's important that you come up with at least three because most people are trained to continue to see the negative and see the things that aren't working. And those are the things that are gonna to continue to keep us stuck. So instead, let's think about the things that are working. You have to come up with three of them. After you come up with three, so let's do an example. And maybe that example is a Facebook Live. So we've done our Facebook Live and we get done. And most people, they're all like, oh, that sucked. I didn't have anybody take me up on my call to action. Maybe you didn't even have a call to action, right? But the thing is, is you did a Facebook Live and we can say that worked. Another thing that we can say that, that worked, maybe the content that you shared was very valuable. Another thing that we can say that worked was maybe you had viewers, right? Like, you know, the little eyeball will pop up when you have viewers on with you live. So maybe you had people that joined you live. We can say that those things are things that worked. And how do we know if they're valuable, you have to actually be able to prove it. It can't just, we can't do things based off of feeling. We want to do things off of data. We want to be able to show, actually show someone and say, yes, this worked. And I can show you it worked because of this. So how would we know if the content that we shared was valuable? Maybe someone commented value, right? Like I'm finding value from this training. If you had someone comment value, then you know that the training that you that you gave or that Facebook Live that you did was valuable to at least one person. So you can actually show and tell, right? We want to be able to see it with our eyes. After we've identified three things that are working, they're, even if they're small wins, they're still wins and we celebrate them. The next thing that we do is we identify what are the two major things that didn't work. Chances are there are two things that didn't work, right? And we're not going to make a laundry list of things because again, we don't want to go down into negative thinking. Instead, we're going to come up with the two major things that didn't work so that we can then pick one to change or do differently next time. And that's the one thing. What's one thing that I might change or do differently? So what are three things that worked? What are the two major things that didn't work? On this Facebook Live, maybe it was, maybe you didn't have, maybe your internet went out right? I don't know. Uh, maybe another thing is you didn't have anybody take you up or buy, maybe nobody bought your thing or nobody uh, commented your, your call to action down below. Maybe nobody, maybe you didn't give a call to action, right? And so nobody, you're, you're sitting here and you're complaining that you're not getting customers, but you're not telling people what they need to do in order to become a customer, right? So it, there's, there can be a lot of things. We're going to pick the two major things that didn't work. And then of the two things that didn't work, we're going to ask, what is one thing that I'm going to change or do differently on my next live that will help me get closer to my desired result? When we do our next live, we then evaluate again, did the thing that I changed work? If it did, great. What is one other thing that didn't work that we might change or do differently? Maybe the thing that we changed didn't work again. At that point, it's okay, let's go to that second major thing that didn't work and let's change that from the last slide. See, this evaluation process and this evaluation way of thinking, it keeps you on the straight and narrow to that desired result that you have. Here's where you're at, here's where you wanna be. We know that there's things that we need to be doing every single day in order to hit our desired result. But if we aren't evaluating and you know we're just, throwing spaghetti at a wall and we're taking action here and we're taking action there, all of a sudden we're veering off of that straight and narrow path and we end up doing this and it ends up being a roller coaster of emotions. A lot of people end up quitting before they ever get any monetary result, right? So how do we change our thinking? This is the quickest way, is by putting an evaluation process in place that keeps us uh, thinking positively about our business it keeps us focused on the data about the things that are actually happening instead of what we feel is happening. It's what is actually happening. And then it gives us a process to be able to maneuver 
our way and stay as close on that line that we have to the desired result, we get there in the shortest time possible. And I know that this works. I know, I know hundreds of, you know, six and seven figure earners that are using this process in their businesses right now. I know people that they've named and labeled it something different, right? They don't call it an evaluation process. They call it something else, but the three, two, one is used by so many people. And when I started changing my thinking and thinking this way, I, my business took off and it, it, it grew so much faster than it did before, you know, when I didn't have a process and I wasn't able to actually name and label that process. So if you got, re if you got value from this Facebook live, you are definitely going to want to join us at the next level workshop. This is your last chance to register. Um, I believe uh, we actually are going uh, live with the workshop, I guess, whatever you want to say. Um, I don't know if you would call it, we're not necessarily going live. We're going, we're starting, right? Like we're jump starting the day to, uh, tomorrow, right? Today's the 15th, it's the 16th. So Thursday, the 16th through the 18th, we start at 11 a.m. Eastern time and we go till about, 5 p.m. Eastern time every single day. You're going to want to make sure that you click the link. It's either in the description or it's in the comments below. Click the link, head on over and register. You're definitely not going to want to miss it. We can't wait to see you there. And we're going to be diving into this framework that the Beach Boss influencers have used to grow a multiple seven figure business over the last few years. It's what we've used, you know, inside. It's our basically what we're going to be doing is uncovering the layers of our framework to growing a six-figure team in the network marketing space. So hurry, register. This is your last chance. Don't miss it. And we will see you there.